Fort Branch and Submit a Change, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show and, and can spare even a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. This time, we're going to take the module that we've spent so much time creating, and we're going to actually submit it to the Metasploit Development Group um, to have them commit it to the, uh, hopefully, the trunk. Um, and you can do this with your modules too, so we're going to walk you through each step. We kind of skipped one, though. One of the particular ones, and it's not hard at all, is getting a GitHub uh, account. And we've already done that, the Metasploit Minute account. And all you do from there is you go to Rapid7 Metasploit uh, Framework. So you go to the whatever the repository is that you're going to um, then fork. And we're going to fork this and we're going to make our own copy um, by pushing fork. And it's that simple. All you do is, is push the fork button. And it should take a few seconds. It's not too long. And there, we have now our own version of Git. So we are going to switch to the SSH version. Um, you can do HTTPS or SSH version that over here on the far right hand side. Um, we're going to do SSH because this way we can actually add like SSH keys and, and um, so that it, we can do uh, push and pulls a lot easier. So now we have a copy of the Metasploit framework um, for ourselves. So we're going to copy this and we're going to make dir dev. And you can put this anywhere you want, but I would recommend having your own development version as well as the actual trunk version. So we're going to go in the dev and then we're going to get clone. And this will take a while. Yes. Ah, it needs public key crypto. So we're going to actually do the HTTPS version just to make things a little quicker since I haven't added a key yet. All right, so we're back and we finally got Metasploit um, pulled down to our system and in our dev environment. So we get into Metasploit and branch should tell us what branch, uh, git branch should tell us we're on the master branch. Now what we want to do is we want to actually create a new branch. Now if you, you, can, you can commit things to master and then do pull requests based on master, but it's just bad um, um, practice because once you do that, that's the only pull request, that's the only request you can make. So if you, if you make new branches, you can continually make new pull requests and, and let them stay in the pull request queue as long as you want uh, and then update master and, and continue moving forward. Um, that way you don't have to wait on them to finish things for you to update your own master copy. So we are going to get check I have an alias for this. This is why it's interesting. Check out B, and we're going to call it um, PHP my admin login. So it created um, check out dash B automatically switches me over to uh, the branch that I'm creating. That way I know which, which one I'm on. So it automatically, but I could if I wanted to, create a branch and then check out that branch. But this is an easy way to do it all in one command line. All right, so we're in that command, and all we're going to do is copy over our module. So MSF4 modules, tab complete all the way to the end. <laughs> and we're going to put it in modules, auxiliary, scanner, HTTP. That's just because where it, it, me it uh, essentially um, would probably be the best place to put it. Obviously, um, the um, Metasploit admins or devs will, will uh, make comments on where it should be or not. So we're going to copy that over. And then before we submit anything, we've gone through and done um, an MSF tidy. So if you do dot forward slash tools, um, MSF tidy dot RB, um, and then point it at our new module, um, we initially had a bunch of spaces and tabs. That shouldn't be those. Those are all warnings. And then it also showed us that do not read set cookie headers directly. 
um, you, can, you can do it this way. So what we can do later on, and we're not going to do it here, is actually use the get cookies on the um, res res uh, result um, instead. And that actually, I tested that out for a little bit uh, on the side, and, and, and it works a lot better than what we had in there. All the splitting and, and each doing stuff like that. So now that we have it mostly done except for that get cookies stuff, um, we are going to, now we're in the branch, we're going to get push. Uh, so, and then we put in our, our username and password for Metasploit Minute. Let's just make sure it's Metasploit Minute, all one word, all lowercase. Metasploit Minute. Put in our password. Everything up to date. Oh, we, we, get, we get pushed because we haven't committed anything and it worked just fine. So get status, we can see that it, there's an untracked module right there that we haven't added. So get add modules, auxiliary, scanner, HTTP, PMA. So now that we've added it actually to the commit, um, we commit it locally with a message saying add PHP my admin login module. Ah, it just doesn't, it's not my stuff isn't configured yet. So let's get config global user dot name MSF uh, metasploit minute. Get, yeah, config, config, config. Typing is not my strong suit. Then username email would be Rob plus exploit minute at 362.com. I think it's doc. And then we commit. All right, so, oh, it already committed. So git log shows us that we have our root at localhost committed, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll, um, we could recommit it or, or remove that if we wanted to, um, but we're just going to go with how it is right now, and it's going to just show up as root at localhost committing it. So get push, metasploit minute, password, and that should now show up as a branch. And we haven't verified our email address, and it didn't show up as a branch yet. Ah, because we forgot one thing. So git push origin, and then what we're going to, because that's going to push it up, back up to the thing, and then pma underscore login metasploit minute password. All right, so that successfully pushed a new branch up to GitHub. And then, if we look here, this page will automatically refresh and says, hey, there's a new uh, branch out there to look at. Would you like to actually compare and push a pull request? You push that, it goes over to the Metasploit um, site and says, you, you want to push a pull request to uh, Rapid7 Master? with PMA login, yep. And you add a comment saying uh, PHP my admin login module, um, log in module done during Metasploit minute. Create a pull request, and that's it. Now the pull request is out there and you can um, watch as, as developers will look in, and comment on the code. We'll most likely get an MSF tidy uh, slap in the wrist saying, hey, there's, there's a warning with MSF tidy. You should have fixed it. Um, and we're gonna just going to close this pull request in a second anyways. But um, what you can do is, is, is make the commit, make the changes, and then make the changes locally, and then push those back up exactly the same way we committed our changes initially. Um, and that's it. You've you submitted your own code to Metasploit Framework. 
and it's awesome. It's really cool to have um, code in there and, and see how things get um, changed and updated and work through the flow. It's, aw it's really cool. So what do you think? Email me at msfhack5.org and stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone who supported the show. You can find ways to actually donate and get awesome Metasploit Minute swag at metasploitminute.com. Every dollar goes to making this show just for you. And for that, I am deeply grateful. So until, ne until next time, I'm Mubix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Cut, set, match, gone. Hey there. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate all the awesome feedback and support we've received from viewers exactly like you. Well, not as cool, but you, know, you get the gist. If you haven't already checked it out, you could really help if you go over to the, our Patreon and support the show directly. If you can't, that's cool. Simple like or subscribe goes a long way too. Either way, thanks for watching and we'll talk later, man. Take it easy.